Remembering what God has done for us is an important discipline for us. The opposite of, of remembering is forgetting. I think as, as Paul was just sharing with us, that forgetting leads us in very much the wrong direction. It leads us into places where uh, it's not good to be. Forgetting what God has done is perhaps one of the biggest hindrances of seeing God's kingdom coming in our communities. In uh, one of my churches, we're just starting a, a pattern of prayer. And Fridays is uh, prayer walking around the village. And uh, our intention is to go to the places in the village where we need to see the Lordship of Jesus being declared. Because we know what the Lordship of Jesus looks like, don't we? Just put that last picture up here, so please. <coughs> this is what it looks like. The increase of his government and peace. And so there's places in, in our village where the governance is, is darker. We need to go and declare the increase of the uh, government and peace of God in those places. And so we need to remember what it looks like in our own lives. We need to remember to spot those times where we see God um, our, trip to the nursing home and sharing there. And all the other places where we see God day by day, we need to remember that and speak about it. You see, when we begin to forget about what God has done, we allow our minds to stray into natural thinking. And God is all about the supernatural. If we stray into natural thinking, it's like, how can I fix this problem? Rather than saying, God, increase your government in peace mm -hmm. over this problem. And so, this weekend I encourage you to remember what God has done. And as you're sharing with folks, if you've not met somebody before, tell them something about what God has done for you in your life. And then listen to what God has done in their life. Because then we'll see this increase right before our very eyes. Remembering what God has done and his promises is so important. It's like a rudder on a ship. We take notice of what God has done. If we review those things and we remember them, if we tell them, then we set the rudder on a straight path. And we journey with God into those new amazing things that he's got before us. We're going to share together in, in a time of um, ministry. We're going to do a couple of things. Um, I'm going to invite you to just think of, of one thing that you've remembered that God has done in your life. Just hold it. Maybe even literally hold it in your hands. <clears throat> and just like a precious jewel. Or maybe like a, you know, a small animal that you need to just cradle gently. And hold on in that tight and gentle way. Because actually there needs to be a release in this as well. Releasing it out to... To speak about the glory of God. So just hold that thing and give thanks for it for a minute or two. Lord, we thank you that your, your faithfulness is without question. Mm -hmm. 
Your love is as vast as the ocean. It knows no bounds. We thank you that you're true to your word. We can rely upon your promises. And so for this thing that we've received from you that we're holding precious tonight, we give you thanks. And we turn it back to you in praise and thanksgiving. Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> Paul is, is leading our prayer ministry this weekend, and uh, throughout the weekend, um, we will be offering opportunities for you to uh, receive uh, prayer in all sorts of different ways. Quite often, we'll have teams of uh, two people here at the front, and if you'd like to receive prayer for anything at all, um, we shall be offering that. Um, uh, you may have noticed that uh, Frank is, is videoing at the back there. We have a, a great library on uh, YouTube on past conferences and various other things, testimonies from Barbados. One thing we don't do though is we don't video any of the prayer ministry. Okay, so the, the camera will go off and uh, when that's, that's happening. So you don't need to worry about you know, that uh, side of things. Our teams. Um, are very well skilled and practiced. Um, we've had a lot of practice praying with people in all sorts of different situations and for all sorts of things. And I encourage you, take some time this weekend. Come and stand before God. Seek Him for what you need. And, uh, and He will give. <coughs> he will give. So uh, I'm going to ask Paul to get that uh, sorted. And then we'll get people in, in place and uh, invite you to come for prayer.